the shape really doesn't matter. So I'm just gonna make it red, just so they can see it. red. Well, with this brush select that I can click in this tool, paint with white in areas that I want to keep. So I'm just gonna paint with white in these areas here. And I know I'm selecting some of the sky, but that's okay. I'm gonna get rid of that by pressing X on the keyboard, which swaps the foreground and background color. Can't see the corner handles. I'm accordingly. I'm holding shift as I'm clicking on these corner handles to keep the file constrained. The angle is not really matching my theme, so I'm gonna right click on it and choose flip horizontal. And from here, I can match the scene a little bit better. And I can even distort it if I want to. Maybe right click on it and choose distort just to get a better view. Group icon to create a new group. I'm gonna click and drag this snow layer in there. I'm gonna collapse it. And now it's in that group. Next, I'm going to hold the Alt, option on the Mac, and click on the layer mask icon to create a black layer mask which hides everything. Then, with the brush tool, it can be to with fill, download the watermark previews onto your desktop, and bring them into Photoshop as you would any other image. So, what I'm going to do now is just select one of these elements and bring it over to the file that I'm working with. So, I'm going to click on the lasso tool. to edit and copy or you can press Control c i'm going to deselect that element Control d command d on the mac go back into the file that we're working with and i'm going to paste it here Control v command d on the mac and there it is as you can see it's a high resolution file which is good i'm going to change the blend mode to green so the black text will disappear And I, I can, you know, scale it more if I need to or rotate it more if I need to. So whatever distortions I need to do for it to work. So maybe something like that. So I just press enter to accept that transformation. And I'm going to use one more element. I'm going to use this one right down here. Again, control C, copy, and paste that in here. Change the blend mode to screen. Control T to transform. That's command in the Mac. Control zero. Isolated, but I like working with vectors better because they and I know I'm selecting some of the sky, but that's okay. I'm gonna get rid of that by pressing X on the keyboard, which swaps the foreground and background color. Take the time to do so now. I will do that after the tutorial, and you can see the final image. But I'm just gonna go around the entire image and just make sure that everything is matched out accordingly. elements that are going to help our composite look much more realistic and much more interesting. So from the Adobe Stock Library, I downloaded two elements we're going to use. We're going to use this shovel with snow, so let me just double click on that to open that up. And by the way, the links to these files are on the description. You have to download them from Adobe Stock, they're not free, but you can use a watermark preview to practice on, so I would recommend you doing that just so that you can have a way to practice them. So the first thing I gotta do is get rid of the shovel, gonna, then I can hold shift and backspace, or you can go into edit, fill to bring up the fill menu, under contents, choose content aware, and press ok. And Photoshop will fill in those pixels in the shovel here. I'm gonna press ctrl D, command D in the Mac to deselect, and this is what we're gonna work with. The first thing that we need to do is mask out the snow from the ground. So I'm going to go into the channels panel, and I'm going to look for the channel that's got the most contents. In this case, the blue channel. I'm going to click and drag on the blue channel, and drop it here in the new channel icon, duplicate it. Now with the duplicate channel, I can start making adjustments.